With the introduction of iOS 6 just a couple days ago, one of the newly toted features was panorama mode in the camera application. This feature is available on the iPhone 4S as well as the brand new released iPhone 5. For demonstrative purposes, I'll be showing it to you today on the brand new iPhone 5 and the incredible capabilities it has as a standalone mobile camera. For this video, I simply mounted my iPhone 5 on top of a camera tripod with a little mini accessory that I was able to purchase for about $20 online. This allowed me to get the smoothest rotation when shooting my panorama shot. And as you see here, this is the full panorama mode shot. This is using the Ken Burns effect. What you're seeing here is the actual photo. At the end of the shot, I will show it to you in its entirety. However, it's a very long and lengthy photo, hence because it is shot using panorama. Now this is not actually a video, but yes, this is the photo coming straight from the iPhone 5. And as you can see, it's incredible. The quality is clear. This was stitched together using the camera's application almost instantaneously. All I had to do was simply rotate my phone on top of the tripod and it automatically shot the photo and compressed it together for me. So as you see here, this was the method that I used to shoot the photo. Now once you've taken a full panorama shot, this is what the final product looks like. And just for reference sake, the dimensions of this photo are 10,800 by 2,332, and it comes in at a whopping 16.8 megabits, and yes, 28 megapixels. Now you may ask, how is that possible considering we're using an 8 megapixel iPhone camera? Well, it is multiple photos stitched together, therefore equaling 28 megapixels. Thanks so much guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have a comment, leave it below, and stay tuned for more iPhone 5 coverage, and I'll see you next time.